Yeah. Hi guys, uh, welcome to PCF. So to continuation of uh, the last video with the chart GPT. So we have created the uh, model. Okay, we have created the model and we have hide the hide the IDs. So next we have a we are, and also we have applied the theme. So, so how to apply the theme also we have seen. So here if you go to the chart GPT, what we have done earlier. So we asked about the add a theme in uh, your Power BI report. How to add the theme? So it is giving step by step. You open your Power BI report and then go to the view tab ribbon and then select the themes and then so import the themes and then everything it's given the steps. The same way we have done it. And then so if you go to the some of the instructions like uh, here, uh, if you go to like so properly set up, this is no direct points actually. No need to do any coding and uh, properly you have you can rename the column names and then uh, data uh, so you can change the data uh, you know uh, this format okay if you have a date format okay if you have any date formats just go to with the mm uh, mmddyy so like uh, if you go to the uh, player assignment there is a uh, you know a data bar there you can go with the date format like this okay uh, mmddyy this format okay so they are expecting this format so just you can go and then set up this one and then so we have a relationship with this date format with the uh, date table right so just you can go to the date table and there you can go with the same format actually with the date so you can go with the mmddyy format mmddyy format so this way so they are expecting the dates okay so that is the direct format actually no need to ask that one chart gpt but if you ask that also it will give an information so um, so and uh, rename all the visual fields uh, example if you have a club name like this so if you have a club name like this just rename that is to uh, club name okay that also you can ask and then even um, so date of birth should be okay so the name should be date of birth so you have to return like this so these are the direct points you can go and then do that okay hiding all ids and the fields okay report uh, users should not see that id so how to hide that we have seen in the last last video how to hide the uh, ids just uh, simply go to the modeling modeling tab there you will you will see the ids in each uh, uh, you know dimension table just go and then click uh, this i icon so that will be added okay so this i icon okay you can see this i icon so all ids are added so we have seen in the last video only and then next you can ask the direct question like so add if, uh, slices filters for a national club so all our positions and then player short name and then so this is a direct question actually okay so this is a direct question but even though you can ask that so just you can take this copy and then you can paste it in the chart gpt so we'll see what will what it will give okay so let me uh, go and then add uh, add a slicer uh, so click on the so visualization tab so there you will see the slicer so you can select the slices and then you can pick the fields okay what are the fields are there so just you can pick the fields so it is giving the even uh, so you can go with the uh, club join date and everything so for whatever the uh, slices we asked for all the slices it is giving the it is repeating the steps so very simple just you can go here and then uh, you can uh, like so whatever they ask right so like uh, filters or slicers for nationality so you can go and then bring the nationality you can search the nationality so where is the national table so there is the nationality name okay you can select that and then you can go to the slicer section so just select that slicer so this is the nationality we have so instead of going this if you go with the so even you can rename that name so nationality so nationality name instead of name nationality you can go so that they are expecting proper name so you can go and then rename this so but instead of this one so if you go here and then if you go to the drop down okay so that would be the better so just uh, you can instead of this one you can take the drop down so that there you will have the nationality okay so in the nationality you can go the drop down and then you can select the column so the same way so whatever the uh you know league and club club position okay so league you can go to the league table and then you can select the league and then you can select the uh, slicer um, and then for this also you can apply the same format you can select this and then go to the home and then there will be the format section you can apply that
Okay, it is not taking, I don't know why. Just you can go to the again format section and then go to the slicers and then so here you will have the drop down. Okay. So there you will see. So okay. So this way uh, you can keep all the slices. Okay. So you can resize them. So the slicer should be the same length and all. Okay. So if you want to see the same height and width, okay, just uh, uh, you can go and then uh, see the uh, format. Uh, you can go to the general section. You can see the height and width. So 78 and then 93. So you can give the same 78 and then 93 here. 78 and then width 93. Not 93. So 293, I think so. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, how much it is go to the format section and then general section and then go to here and then 293 sorry oh, so that's my bad so here you need to give the 293 so then it will have the exact same length so exact same length but we'll apply one more time theme so i i don't see any theme here actually so what we'll do we'll apply the theme so whatever they have given just go here and then go to the uh, custom uh, browse theme so you can go with the browse theme. So just to select the theme. So this is the theme they have uh, given. So just you can apply the theme. So league name also, it is giving the league name like this. Okay, so that's something already there. So the league, league name, you can go and then rename this by double clicking this and then you can. So even if you want a capital uh, league, so L. So like that, you can do for the remaining all. Okay, so this is the, I'm not going to apply for all the other filters, but uh, so you can go and then apply the same. Okay, but uh, so it's sure like, so just go and then we'll see, apply the background color, something gray so that uh, you can see the, uh, okay. So you can apply for the same, uh, same uh, slices, whatever the slices are there. So you can go and then apply the same. Uh, and then for the date filter, okay, if you go to the date filter, there should be a, a between slicer, okay, contract should be uh, valid until the slicer should be between, <clears throat> okay, so join, join date should be uh, relative slicer, okay, so club join date is there, so if you go to the club joined date, so there is a join date. So there is a club join date. Okay, you can go with this club join date. So <clears throat> there will be a slicer. Okay, you can go with the slicer. So this slicer should be interactive. Okay, this slicer should be interactive. So how we can make it interactive? So you can go here, uh, the slicer filter. So just go to the filter section. There you can go with the relative dates. Okay, but it is given hierarchy, but it is not in a date format. So just you can go to the date and then uh, so there you can go have a, a relative a relative date. So the relative date means last how many days you want. So even that you can do with the slices also, not in a filter. So that you can do in the slicer. Just select this and then uh, go to the format section and then go to the slicer settings. And then there you can see the relative date. So in the relative date, so you can go and then pick the last one day or one year last one week or so whatever so if you select this here so based on that it will filter right if you don't want the filter just you can clear that okay this all this you know if you know the power bi you can apply all these things but the thing is so what chart gpt can help us okay so all this slicer it will give but so what we will do so we'll ask the add a cluster um you no know, add a cluster bar chart showing the weight average by club and then, so this can, okay, you can try with this. So like, I'm just giving an instruction. So how to do that, just take a point and then paste it here. Okay, paste it here. It will, it will give you like, so even the weightage formula and all, okay, it will give you the weightage formula and how to write the formula. And uh, so even see all these things. So how to start and all. So everything, if you follow these instructions, definitely. So even you can add that. So you can go to, uh, so what it is saying, go to the visual, take the cluster bar chart. Okay, you can take the cluster bar chart. Okay, this is the uh, cluster bar chart. You can select that cluster bar chart. 
uh, and uh, what you have to do. So the next point, so cluster bar chart and then drag the club name in from the table. Okay, so drag the club name. So you can select the club name. So go to the table, club table, and then select the club name. So then uh, what you have to do, uh, drag the age field from the TBL player. So from the TBL player, you have a age field. Okay, so you have a age field, just select the age field. So like this, you can uh, drag that age field and then so you can uh, click on the drop down and then you can do the average age. Okay, so you can go to the age field. So it is giving the sum by default, but you can go here and then you can do the average. Okay, so like that you can so each and every person you can do the average age. Uh, so and then you can do the sorting. And then so this way, so you can follow each step. I'm not going in detail. So I'm just giving an hour. See, it is giving the detailed information. You can follow this the information and then you can. Okay, this is not only for a testing. Is, okay, even real time also, they will give like this only. So you can take this one, the 10th point, and then you can, you can ask. Okay, you can ask. Add a map number of players nationality. Okay, so it will also... <clears throat> giving the steps okay it is also giving the steps how to add the map so go to the map visual and then add a tbl nationality you have a field called location you can take the location and then tbl player you have a, um, a size field so you can take the size field and then tbl nationality you will you can have a table so you can so create a colors and then so everything it is giving okay again the same way you can go to this uh, another one so add a matrix just you can take this point and then so you can um, ask points. So it will give if there is any major need to create it. So it will also give you the major name like so how to uh, create a major. So still it is the matrix. OK, so from where to need to take the uh, column names It is giving very detailed actually. So the columns what and then rows are what and uh, where we need to take the grand total subtotals and everything it is giving clear instructions. And then also um, you can go and then so even you can uh, convert heights uh, to you know feet. Okay, so it is in centimeters, but it is need to convert it in feet and then height in cages. So it, you can convert this into here. So if you ask this question, so what it will do? So let ask this question. Okay, I'm going to share this requirement document and all. So in the description, just you can go go through this uh, one. And then try to do it your own. And then if you face any questions, see it is converting the feeds, okay, uh, centimeters to feeds. And then um, so if you have weights in cages that it is converting into the, see how beautiful it is, guys. So really I'm you know, exciting when, uh, so it is giving answer, direct answer. So no need to go with any support and no need to go with anywhere. So even chart GPT will help you. Okay. When you train that, like what are the tables are there? So whatever the, you know, uh, things are there. So just what are the fields and then tables? Okay. If you give that things to the chart GPT, chart GPT will give you whatever the question you ask. So within, okay. If the, in, in your company, if they give like a four or five days time, so within one day you can complete your report. That guarantee I can give. Okay, if you use properly the chart GP. See, even it is created a measure for us, like uh, converting the feet to okay, height in centimeter to feet. And then uh, it is also converting the inches. Okay, so so even you can go to down and then see it is converted the cages to LBS. Okay, so like that whatever they ask so it is created the measures and then what next you have to do like so what visual you need to take and then so how to display and all everything it is explained below okay just go go through the you know instructions and then do it okay if i go to the instructions and then do it it will take more and more time so if i give assignment to you just you will try yourself right so i will give anyhow i'm giving the all these documents okay all these documents Okay, and then also I will give the chart GPT uh, the URL uh, and then uh, so you can even if you want me to create how to create a sign in and all. 
so if you know already so no need but if you you know give a comment how to create a uh, you know sign in and all so if you want me to more details about the chart gpt i will also give that chart gpt so this is the last question okay you can ask that last question so see in the empty canvas the visualization section in format icon expand the interaction section so you can go to this and then uh, repeat this process for everything okay so it is asking set all visualization interaction filters rather than the highlights okay so there is a um, you know edit interaction is there so what they are saying so in the edit interaction if you go to the formats in the edit interaction so by default we have the three buttons like um, filter section and then so for this you know filters we have only the filter and then um, none but uh, if you add any other visual so in that visual you can see the highlights actually by default uh, so by default if you select this one and then if you go to here and then uh, sorry go to the format section in the format section okay see here uh, it is showing the highlights only but if you add any other visual suppose if you add uh, mm, column chart and then uh, if you add the uh, uh, player name something okay so the player okay player chart name and then if you add the weight just like that okay so if we add it like this so if i select this one see here it is by showing by high by default this highlight button will be there but instead of that they want only the filter button okay so just select that for all okay whatever the visual you added so just select only this okay if i filter this one okay if i filter this one it will show on the 100 percent okay only filtered but if you don't apply this one by default it the highlight will be there so what will happen see it is gray out okay it is gray out okay it will not show but there is a, some other things are there so which are you know uh, highlighted okay see this is highlighted but the remaining are you know gray out but they want they don't want this gray light colors they want only the hundred percent okay so when you go with this hundred percent this filter section so they want only uh the hundred percent for all the visuals okay so that what they have asked this okay this last question okay so you can uh you know if you have any doubts you can raise a comment um in the comment section so i will share in one drive so all this document i will share in one drive um go through it the requirement and then you can no need to brainstorm anything just ask the question uh chat gpt so that will give you the uh things hope you excited so share this um okay share this uh, if you like the video please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and then give a comment okay if you want more uh, videos on chat gpt examples like this so definitely if you, you know some people are watching but they are not giving any comments okay if you give a comments and then um give a thumbs up button like button then uh, definitely i will uh, no, that is more encourage for me so that i can create more videos for you guys okay yeah thank you so much so we'll uh, see uh, in another next video thank you